What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the NECA Universal Monsters, the Wolfman Ultimate Figure. And so here we have the Wolfman pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories. Here the Wolfman does come with three different head sculpts. We do get the transformed head, which looks really nice. We get a transformed head where he's howling or growling. Then we do get an untransformed Lon Chanley head, which looks really nice. I do like the likeness to it. He also does come with several sets of hands. We do get a transformed pair of hands. Then we do get a regular set of non-transformed hands. Then we do get a right grip hand, as well as two sets of feet. We do get his Wolfman feet, which look really nice. Then we also do get the human feet, which also look really good. He also does come with a couple more accessories. We do get the cane with the silver tip head on it, which looks really nice. And then we get a bear trap for the Wolfman. Other than that, the Wolfman doesn't come with any other accessories, so let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at the Wolfman, and I think NECA has done a fantastic job with this figure. Now, this is the black and white version that we are having a look at, in case you guys can't tell with the black and white filter. But I really do like the fact that NECA actually made two versions of the Universal Monsters. We have the black and white version as well as the colored version, which I think the black and white versions are my go-to, just because that feels more like the classic movies. But this is a very nice figure. I do like the face right here it looks a lot like it did in the movie the sculpt work on his fur is fantastic and just the look of it does scream wolfman now this was before we had cgi where we could make them actually look like wolves so hollywood had to work with what they got but yeah it does look like a monster and you can see the wolf-like features to it where the nose is starting to point up and we do have his teeth showing right there I do like the fact that NECA actually sculpted the neck to also have fur. When we interchange the heads, you can see that they come with their own neck pieces, which I really do like. And they did a really good job with the Lon Chanley Jr. head here. Yes, it is Lon Chanley Jr. Uh, he's credited as Lon Chanley in the movie. So, yeah, really do like the likeness to his figure here. And this looks just like it did when he was wearing the prosthetics. Very nice figure here. Looking at the costume, it's a very plain Wolfman shirt and or costume. And again, this was before all the special effects could give us an actual werewolf. Uh, he just basically wore a button-up shirt, which you can see it has the pockets right here, which there is a little bit of a dry brush on it. It's just cast in a gray plastic with a lighter gray dry brushing throughout it, and it looks fantastic. Absolutely great job by NECA here. I do like the folds and the wrinkles, they look very natural, very clean, very nice suit here. And then we go on to his hands where I do have them with the Wolfman hands right here, which they also have the fur sculpted on it. And this was actually a cost saving tool. They we had him wear the shirt and then only put prosthetics on his hands and feet. So it was easier to, to make basically. But yeah, really do like the hands here. You can even see inside the hands, they added a little bit of padding in it just to give it a, like a wolf pad very nice features here he even has silver tip claws even though they're really gray they look a little bit silver but that's very nice i do like it and then continuing on with the rest of his wardrobe he is just wearing a pair of pants with the belt here you can see painted very nice silver buckle there the sculpt work on the belt is very clean going around to the back we have the pockets sculpted on very nicely it's not a set of jeans it looks like it's just a pair of slacks and again the wrinkles on it look superb NECA is very good at getting those fine details and the texturing on both his pants and his shirt really do work for this figure then we go on to his uh, feet here where you can see they rolled up his pants so you, we have two different colors of his pants we have the darker gray then we have the lighter interior gray 
which again looks fantastic and then we do go on to his feet now one thing I didn't notice is that NECA did sculpt his feet so that he has somewhat of a digitigrade foot in case you don't know what that is digitigrade is when an animal stands on its toes uh, we also do have his feet here which gives him a more plantigraded feet which is where you stand flat footed which I do like that feature but it does make it a little bit hard to stand just because of how small that area of the plantigrade is or the digitigrade so he doesn't really have too much to lean with he can thankfully stand on his heels which does kind of raise his feet up a little bit but i would rather him have that than you know tipping over all the time so very nice work by NECA here they did a fantastic job with the wolfman so with that out of the way guys let's actually get the wolfman compared to other figures you may have in your collection here we have the wolfman posed next to a marvel legend cyclops and a dc multiverse superman here we have the wolfman posed next to a wwe elite scale figure and a mezco 112 collective popeye the sailor man here we do have the Wolfman posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally, here we do have the NECA Wolfman posed next to the NECA Universal Monsters Frankenstein. So with the comparisons out of the way guys, let's actually move on to the Wolfman's articulation. Now we do have a ball joint here in the head, but it is very stiff. I cannot get this head to actually move the way I want it to. It's a very stiff joint here at the top of the neck. Uh, it is a double ball joint and you would be able to get a lot of range out of that but yeah it's just so stiff. Uh, if I can just pop the head off really fast just so you guys can see. You do get all the range of movement that you would want out of it but it's just so stiff. I'm gonna have to heat that up pop it off and then put some lubrication in there just because it is very stiff thankfully he does have a ball joint here at the neck so that does help with some movement as well as rotation and left and right so really good job in the head there with the exception of it being too tight arms are on ball joints which do go out to the side eh, about almost horizontal which is a little bit unfortunate they do go all the way around no problem we do have a elbow joint which does does go past 90 degrees so I do like that uh, swivel here at the elbow in lieu of a bicep swivel then we do have a swivel and hinge here at the wrist and it is just an up and down hinge just so you guys know now he does have a ball joint somewhere here in the middle of his torso and I do like that but it is hindered by the rubber overlay that is his shirt so he can lean back a little bit can crunch forward a little bit and some side to side tilt as well as very little rotation most of the movement is going to be done here at his waist where we do have another ball joint which does go forward and back left and right and has some nice pivot to it his legs are on ball joints which do go out to the out like that they go back about that far and of course they go out to the side really do like that NECA went with ball joints on their figures now instead of that old hinge joint uh, we do have some slight rotation here at the thigh single bend here at the knee unfortunately doesn't go past 90 we also do get rotation here at the knee then because of the interchangeable feature we do have swivel here at his ankle we do have a hinge in the foot which does go back and forward a little bit and then of course we do have forward facing pin for rocker ankle although this doesn't seem to be that great of a rocker ankle it's probably angled at a low angle so that's probably why it is the way it is but overall really happy here with the wolfman i think NECA has done a very good job with it so with that out of the way guys let's actually get the wolfman pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the NECA universal monsters ultimate wolfman pose for my final thoughts and overall i really do like this figure now the wolfman's costume isn't the most exciting that we've seen it's basically just some dude in a suit and a button up t-shirt now again i'm not criticizing it for that that's basically how he looked in the movie and this was what hollywood had to work with at the time it's a very nice figure to own especially if you're a fan of the universal monsters like i am this was one line that when they announced i was so looking forward to and you know what so far they haven't disappointed and i really do like the way wolfman here is 
This is one figure I see people being able to get two versions of. That way you can have the Wolfman in his feral form and then you can have him in his Lawrence Tyburn form. Or is, I think that was his name, Lawrence Tyburn. I will have to take a look. But yeah, I can see people picking up two Wolfman figures just so they can have the human form and the wolf form. Although I think the wolf form is the more appealing version. It never hurts having civilian clothes figures in your collection now. If you are looking for the black and white version of the Wolfman like we have here, he is available at Target. That's where I found my Wolfman, which I was surprised to actually see him on the shelf. My Target never has anything stock, so finally being able to find merchandise, I am really happy to have Wolfman in my collection. Now I do have the colored version on the way, which we will have a look at in the future, but this black and white version goes really nicely with the black and white Frankenstein, which we had a look at earlier. If you are going to pick up this Wolfman, he is going to run you $32 to $34, just depending on your area, which is kind of high, but that's what we're coming to expect from figures. Prices are going up up unfortunately and if you can pick up the Wolfman and you're a fan of the 1940s Wolfman movie this is a must-have figure with that being said guys I'm King of Dragons 5000 don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Universal monsters and my NECA videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you would like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection I'll gladly have a look at it while you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.